Now that we've looked at empirical probability, uh, let's explore the connection between empirical probability and the other type of probability we can calculate, which is called a theoretical probability. The two types of probabilities are connected via the law of large numbers. So what the law of large numbers says is if an experiment is performed repeatedly, the empirical probability of a particular outcome more and more closely approximates a fixed number as the number of trials increases. Now remember, an empirical probability is the probability that is calculated as the result of an experiment. Okay, so what this is saying is as you perform this experiment, when you go to calculate this probability, uh, those fractions that you're going to be getting, right, so you're the numerator is the number of successes, the denominator is the number of trials, uh, and ultimately that fraction um, you know, it can be either expressed in a, in a decimal or a percent form. That probability that you'll be calculating will more and more closely approximate a fixed number as you perform the experiment over and over again. This fixed number is known as the theoretical probability. Okay, so I have uh, linked right here an applet, so maybe we can kind of see what's going on. So I'll bring that up. And out of the applets, let's go to uh, simulating the probability of a head with the uh, fear coin. Okay, so when you flip a coin, uh, two outcomes can happen. Either you're going to get a head or you're going to get a tail. So on this one, we're actually going to be able to simulate flipping a coin. So I told it to flip the coin once, uh, and I got a tails. So up here, it's keeping track of how many times has had occurred. Well, it didn't. Out of one trial of the experiment, so this fraction 0 divided by 1 is 0, and so my probability is 0, right? So I have the sample point down here. Let's flip the coin again. All right, so at this point in time now I have uh, another tails. So I have had 0 heads out of 2 flips of the coin, and then my probability is still 0. So I notice it's still a line down here. Let's flip the coin again. All right, so now I got a head. So now out of 3 flips of the coin, I've gotten 1 head. So then that builds the fraction 1 third or 0.3 repeating. Okay, so now I have this new sample point right here and it went ahead and connected those for me. Flip the coin again. Oh, look, another heads. All right, so now out of four flips of a coin, I've gotten two heads. So my uh, empirical probability of heads is two fourths or as a decimal uh, 0.5. Okay, so I got a new sample point right here. All right, so let's have it flip the coin five more times, so I'll get nine trials total. Okay, so it's keeping track of whether or not a head happened out of the total number of trials. So every time this happens, notice that I'm building a new fraction, I'm getting a, a new uh, probability, and then it's building a new sample point. Now what the law of the large number says is if this experiment was performed repeatedly, uh, this probability, which in this applet is being represented by this proportion over here, um, which is taking the number of successes divided by the number of trials, that probability should uh, get closer and closer to a certain number. What number do you think that that probability is going to get closer and closer to? So if I were to flip a coin, what do you think the chances are that I would have heads? Okay, well, there's two flip or two possible outcomes, and one of them is heads. So then the argument can be made that the uh, probability that the coin lands on heads is one out of two or 0.5. What the law of large numbers says is, as this experiment would be repeated over and over again, uh, this proportion should continue to hover around 0.5. So if right here I just click on a thousand flips, okay, so it didn't actually. Uh, all of the flips are over here if you wanted to go through all of them, but otherwise it just kept track of it for us. So it looks like then when I did this, I've now run the experiment 1,009 times. Out of that, I've gotten 500 heads or so in this in the simulation. So the uh, proportion of heads is 0.4955. Notice it's really close to 0.5 or 1 half. Okay, so then as you can see here, this uh, this probability keeps hovering around this one half line. And if I were to do this experiment another thousand times, again, notice that the, the uh, proportion is still hovering around one half. So maybe to see this in a different context, let's take a look at uh, rolling a die. 
Okay, so uh, this is going to calculate the probability of us getting a 6. All right, so let's roll the die. Okay, so at this point in time, I have rolled the die once. I did not get a 6, so it did not improve my count. So the probability at this point in time in my experiment is 0 out of 1 or 0. So I got my sample point down here. At this point in time, this is still not a 6, so my probability is 0 out of 2 or still 0. Let's roll it five more times. So I got a six, that improved my count. I got another six right here, that improved my count. Oh, and look, I got another six. So at this point in time, uh, I have gotten three sixes out of seven rolls of the dice. So then this ends up then at a um, empirical probability of three sevens or 0.4286. So what the law of large numbers says is if I were to perform this experiment over and over and over again, uh, this uh, probability should approach a certain number. Now what number do you think that the probability would approach? Well we looked at the sample space out of a out of a dice there are six possible outcomes. If my event is rolling a six that outcome can be satisfied one way right specifically you got to get a six so there's one way that your event can occur out of the six possible outcomes so then uh, that fraction then would be one sixth or as a decimal uh, 0.16 repeating. So what we think is then as for the law of large numbers if I were to perform this experiment repeatedly this uh, proportion over here should get closer and closer to what we would consider to be the theoretical probability. So now at this point in time we've uh, performed this experiment over a thousand times um, out of that, we've gotten 148 rolls that were 6, so the proportion is 0.147. Okay, so notice that this is being kept track out here, and the 0.147 is right there. This green line right here is the fraction 1 6, okay. or as a decimal, uh, 0.16. Okay, so notice that this uh, empirical probability is really close to the theor theoretical probability. And then the idea is if I were to perform this experiment repeatedly and repeatedly, this probability should get closer and closer to that green line. All right, that's the law of large numbers.